We're going to start it off the show with a guest in the studio. His name is also Dylan, and his last name also starts with B as well. Dylan Brewer, former Martinsburg and Shepherd football standout, uh, is coming in to talk about his new flag football league he's starting up. How are you doing, Dylan? I'm doing good. Hey, uh, thanks for having me on today. Yeah, no problem. Uh, what's this uh, flag football you're starting up? Kind of grassroots, kind of from the bottom here. Uh, yeah, so um, as you know, I, I played football a lot of years, and, you know, I got my start. <laughs> um playing flag football so um, I really enjoyed it I started off in Winchester playing in their league um, but you know just in, went through you know played my years of football and you know I think this is a great way to give back to the community um, get young kids you know to get started off in you know flag football and falling in love with it just like I did when I started playing but um, we're gonna have uh, six games this year it's called the berkeley county youth flag football league uh it's going to be at martinsburg high at coburn field um so pretty excited about it um i guess we'll keep going but just trying to introduce it a little bit from here but so dylan uh just i guess tell us the age groups and give us a little bit more details about how to register too okay so it's going to be k through eight so we're trying to fit you know everybody from starting school to all the way to eighth grade um right now the we probably have about 40 50 kids signed up so uh, the league's taken off pretty well um it's a 99 dollar there's an early bird special right now for each player um you can check it out. You can register at bcyffl.com. Um, I'll give you all a little PDF file and all that stuff, and you can send it out too, but there's a QR code you can check out uh, to sign up. Uh, the early bird special will probably end around August 25th. That's kind of our goal, you know, so we have all the teams and we have other sponsorships and all that other stuff too that we have if people want to sign up for that. What sort of inspires you to get this league going? To, was it just, you know, seeing the, the sort of the need for one? Uh, yeah, so the the issue with it right now, there's not a, actually a local flag football league. Um, it's a travel league where, um, so my girlfriend's brothers, they played a couple years ago, and they're driving two hours down the road just to play flag football. You know, we don't have something here specifically local for, you know, kids before they start tackle football or kids that, you know, just don't have the opportunity to play actual tackle football. So I think it's good to have it right here local so you don't have to travel an hour down the road. It's right here in Martinsburg. And I've been seeing a lot lately kind of like studies across the United States that flag football is getting bigger for the younger age until they hit like 12 or 13 mm -hmm. because of all the studies with, you know, helmet to helmet contact and football and things like that. So obviously getting something started here for kids at a younger age is, is going to be a boost for parents wanting them to maybe not transition to tackle football right away uh, and get into just flag football and kind of the basics of football first. Yeah, and I think it's a, a good way to start because, I mean, you want to cut down that head-to-head -head contact as much as you can, and especially when you're developing young as a kid, you want to cut all that head-to-head -head contact down as much as you can. So, um, And this is a good way for if you wanted to keep that down and still keep kids active in the sport and learning how to play the game so when it's time, you know, they're more developed to take those hits. You know, they can go out on the field and do what they got to do. This is, uh, I think, first of all, this is great. I, I didn't know that there wasn't a, already a flag football league. I played flag football growing up. How much are the are the schools involved at all in, in helping with this? I know when I played, like, the high school kids always came and coached and refed and stuff like that. Is there any help from the schools? Um, so right now... Um we got it approved by Berkeley County Schools, um, so they do it at Martinsburg High. So, you know, they're kind of backing us with all of this. But uh, right now we just have with coaches, as far as coaches, like we have some uh, – just kids that are they're they're playing their parents are going to be coaching so some of the names that we have is like jared ferguson a former fairmont state standout dewey mcdonald and he's going to be coaching brandon ashenfelter uh marco strowski you know played at fairmont state uh coaches at martinsburg currently um trying not to forget any more names but and i'll probably be a coach too if i need to so but i think we're going to have a pretty good turnout with you know volunteers and all that other stuff but you know if anybody's interested uh you can uh, reach out to us. Um, our email is registration at bcyffl.com. If you're interested and want to volunteer and ref or anything like that, you know, just reach out to us from email and, you know, you can join it if you're interested. So you mentioned it's K through 8 um, on the website right here just to kind of let everybody know there's going to be different divisions for this? 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's going to be different divisions. I would say the biggest division right now is uh, between like six through uh, nine years old, and that's our biggest division so far. Um, obviously, we want to fill out, you know, every single division, but um, I think it... The biggest division we want to try to fill out is, you know, the, the middle schoolers. So that's, a, that's another thing. So, Clinton, over at the flyer that you brought in and something we haven't mentioned yet for this K-8 through and everything, um, it's a co-ed league. Yes, it's a co-ed league. So if uh, there's any females or anything like that, they want to, you know, join the league and they love playing football, this would be a good start. Um, there's more women joining the game. You know, there's... Um, couple girls and I've seen this year playing actual high school football and they do pretty well so you know if they want to get into it too it's we want to make it for everybody I was going to say Dylan um, what do you think I guess is the importance of flag football in terms of uh, trying to develop players to eventually play you know tackle football um, the biggest thing is is you know we just want the kids to have fun um, and, you know, no matter how you see it, you know, as the game gets more serious as you get older, the reason why we play the game is to have fun. And that's the big goal, and that's what we're trying to do here. We want kids to, you know, get out and get active. We don't want them to be at the house, you know, doing whatever. We want them to be active in the community and trying to fall in love and keep uh, – the uh, football prestige that we have around here in Berkeley County and keep that going. So I think this is a good way to start it off and get people to fall in love with it, especially kids. So, Do you have to live in Berkeley County to play, or can you live in Jefferson? Uh, you can live in Jefferson, too. Um, honestly, if, if really, if anybody wants to come out of state, we're, we're taking anybody. If, okay. if, yeah, if you want to join, you know, uh, more than welcome, we'll take anybody. So there'll be six games. You'll go September 9th to October 21st at Coburn Field. Uh, BCYFFL. You can go to BCYFFL.com for more. What, uh, you know, you mentioned obviously the the wanting to have a local youth football or flag football league here because the other ones are travel and you have to travel two hours each way. Uh, but kind of what else was the determining factor and why right now? Why this fall? Um, so I'm going to be honest with you. One of the things is, is uh, you know, I really miss football and I miss being around it. And I think this is a good opportunity for me to get back involved with football and, you know, trying to get kids to fall in love with it just the way I have been. So, you know, that's the big thing. I'm, I kind of miss playing football. So I think this is a good way for me to get involved uh, with football again and then also just with the community and the kids. So, so that, that six-game schedule, is that the, just the regular season games? Do you have a, like, postseason setup? Is it going to depend on how many teams there are? Nature division. Um, so we do have a plan to do, um, so we're going to have about six um, regular season games, and then we do want to have a playoff one weekend and then have the championship also to that weekend. So there will be a trophy at the end of it um, for teams to go after. So. Is this going to be on Saturdays? Is there a set day? Yeah, so it's going to be Saturdays. Um, if we're going to start around between 11 and 12, just trying to work out, you know, what times and the earliest we can get up there. But 11 or 12 will be the start time. Um, teams, they come up an hour before their game, and that's when the practice time will be. So we'll go down on the Martinsburg practice field, on the grass field, and they get to practice for the game. And then when there's time for them to come up, they come up on the field, and then uh, they play right on the turf. So this is uh, on the website. This is a joint venture with your mom, is that correct? Uh, my mother and my father, yeah. So what kind of, how did that go trying to help them, or what was your pitch to them to help you? Uh, I'm assuming with kind of the back end side of things as you're the football guru guy. Yeah, um, so, you know, my mother and father are pretty good with uh, – you know, just doing a lot of things like I'm not really good at technology, setting up QR codes and websites and all that stuff. So they're behind all that different type of stuff. And, you know, I'm trying to make the connection in the community with different people to try to, you know, get them to join and, you know, take this opportunity to play. So, Go ahead, Colin. So you said you have roughly 40 to 50 kids right now, I believe. Uh, what, I guess, is your realistic size or amount of kids that you want to be able to put out a different number of teams for all these different age groups uh so i'm so the the team size for each person each team on the field will have six people on the field at a time so it'll be six versus six um so the team sizes will be around probably like eight to ten we're still trying to work out that number but we'll probably put 10 kids on a team at a time um so we probably have a pretty good size so far but i'd say we probably want to have at least 10 teams so okay. 
And uh, when it comes to kind of, kind of going off of Spencer asking about how your parents are getting involved in this, is there going to be any opportunity for people in the community if they want to get involved and sort of, you know, help you out with the league or, you know, donate to make sure the, the league has enough funds? Um, yeah, so one of the things that we're doing, too, um, I'm going to mention this while I'm on here. We are looking for sponsors. Um, so one of our sponsorship packages, and I'll give this to you when I leave today, um, there's 150 sponsorship if you want to be a team sponsor. So with the team sponsor, you can sponsor a team. Uh, we have jerseys that the, the teams will have, um, each individual player have. Uh, we'll put our BCYFFL logo on the front, and then on the back will be the, the business logo, the uh, business that sponsors uh, a team. So they'll have a logo right there on the back. Um, we also have another sponsorship package if you didn't want to sponsor a team. Uh, each individual weekend, you can, um, the other package is another $150. Uh, you get a PA announcement. It uh, can be up to a minute. Uh, between games, we'll announce each business and, you know, kind of portray their image and all that different type of stuff. And then um, the full sponsorship package uh, is $299. And that'll be team sponsor and PA announcements uh, throughout the weekends. So we have that as well. Uh, that'll cover our flags, our jerseys, um, and also, too, that'll just be for, you know, our field time, anything like that, and, you know, investment into the future for next year. All right. If, we're, if no one else has any yeah. questions, before, before we let him go, D. Brew, you are a Martinsburg Bulldog and a Shepherd Ram. Mm -hmm. Obviously, we're going to be covering all their games this year. How how are you feeling about the Bulldogs and the Rams? Um, so, obviously, with Martinsburg, uh, Coach Walker's back. So, um, you know, and I think Coach Sherman did an excellent job. You know, while Coach Walker was away, he did a really good job. I played for him, too. I love Coach Sherman. He's a, he's a guru. He... Um, with the onside kicks and everything. But, um, you know, I, it's exciting for Coach Walker to be back. Um, I think they have a lot of people in the skill position, specifically, like, you know, every single year. Um, also, I think Murphy Clement's going to have a really big year, um, not just running the ball, but throwing the ball as well. And as far as the Rams go, um, I think they're going to surprise a lot of people. I think the defense is going to be really strong this year. Um, and then as far as, um, you know, skill positions, I think everybody's going to step up and rise to the occasion. But the big thing is, you know, the quarterback position. And I think they have two good uh, quarterbacks right there at that position right now. Um, so we'll just see how it plays out. But I think they're going to surprise a lot of people and make some noise in the region for sure. And for you, you're... I would say, from the outside looking in, pretty good friends with Tyson Bajan. You were part of his pro day. Uh, you were part of the throwing session during, I believe, when RG3 was in town. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, what have you heard from him so far from camp? It looks like on Twitter, everybody, one, everybody's loving him, and two, he's making a name for himself. Um, well, it's not. I'm I'm pretty biased, <laughs> so this isn't <laughs> nothing new to me. I've seen the whole process, you know, ever since he's been in high school. We've been throwing for at least eight, ten years, I'd probably say. Um, so you know, I I knew this was going to happen for Tyson, and you know, um, I try not to read into the articles too much because you know a lot of people, you know, they try try to skew things and different things like that. But you know, I think he's got a good opportunity to, you know, possibly be the backup or. That's what I was reading the other day, that somebody was like, let's anoint Tyson the backup already. And I was like, he hadn't even been in the preseason game yet, but that goes to show what his work ethic is. And when we talk to him all the time, he's like, I just need to get my foot in the door. Yeah, and uh, I think he's definitely doing that. And um, I think the big part is is knowing those plays. You know, you're getting 20-word plays, and as we worked out this summer, you know, he's he did all the different things and put himself in real-life situations to remember all those plays. And if you know those plays, you can go out there and play confident. And, uh, you know, I think he's pre fully prepared to go out there and do his thing. I think he's going to surprise a lot of people and, you know, make a name for himself. So to kind of tie in both of their questions, I know I've seen uh, you during the offseason helping out some of the local wide receivers. Uh, for example, Roman Pearson, who Martinsburg guy now going to Shepard. Just talk a little bit about, I guess, uh, your training process with him and maybe a few others, if there are any that you've been helping out. Um, so I think Roman, um, you know, I'm, I'm a teacher at Martinsburg as well. And, you know, I got in contact with him because, you know, I, I think he kind of reminds me of myself a little bit. You know, he can block. He can do all the little all-around things that a receiver needs to do. Uh, he can catch the ball really well. Um, but, you know, one of the big things is is we just go out there. We, we train really hard. We do a lot of hand fighting, different things like that, and, you know, running really crisp routes. And I think that's, uh, you know, the big part of being the receiver is just being an all-around, you know, guy on the field, and you can help out in multiple ways. Anything else, guys? 
I was just going to say, does he have anything else that he wants to promote and then yeah, go over all your there. information on how to sign up? Um, no, nothing really else. Just, um, you know, the, the website, my parents did a good job, so it's it's pretty uh, self-explanatory when you get on the, the website. It's bcyffl.com. Um, also, too, you can contact um, us at 703-599-4249 um, if you're interested and you have any questions. Um, also, too, uh, same thing if you want to do any sponsorship packages or anything like that. So um, you can just reach out to us, um, and we'll try to get you on there. And you, or if you need your card detail. I was just oh. going to throw that out there, too. Um, so, yeah, I also have a, my own business. Uh, it's a mobile detailing company right now. Um, it's called Next Level Auto Detailing. Um, I do as far as basic packages from interiors all the way to seven year ceramic coating so uh, also too this winter um, I'm going to bring out and portray uh, my window tinting um, as well so uh, my business is really taking off and you know it's mobile right now but beginning of next year uh, we have plans to you know open our own shop and all that other stuff so it's, it's really taking off and you know I want to thank the community for you know supporting my business.